so excited. Morning. I feel like you can tell by how I look, but it is 5.30 right now and I woke up early because I am reading my book. It's Riley Sager's new one, The Only One Left. And I've just been so into it that last night, like it took everything in me to go to sleep, but I was like, it's okay. I'll wake up early tomorrow morning and I'll give myself more time to read. I have less than hundred pages left, but like just barely less than hundred pages left. So I'm definitely not finishing it this morning, but it's been really good so far. If you're new, hello, I'm Anna. I'm a social worker. I post videos every Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern just going through life and whatever that entails. Today is actually a Wednesday. I kind of took Monday and Tuesday off of vlogging just for a little bit because I vlogged the whole weekend as its actual own separate vlog this time. But I wanted to start back up today because I do go into work today like normal. And then tonight, I'm so, so, so excited. Tonight, Zach and I are going to the Fox Theater in Atlanta to see Wicked, which Wicked is like my very favorite musical. It probably is the only musical that I would like genuinely like go out of my way to see. And they're in Atlanta. So that is so so super exciting. That's not until like 14 hours from now though. So we still got a few things between now and then. Nothing too, too special at work today, I believe, other than we have a staff meeting this afternoon. You didn't miss too much in Monday and Tuesday, but I did feel the lack of like doing a day at work and then not telling YouTube about it. On Monday, I did a lot with SSI disability, sending in different applications and making faxes by myself. And I feel good because now I feel like I know like what to include and how to do that, which is nice. We do apply on behalf of families if they ask us to. I don't have like any sway in whether anyone gets disability income or not, but I can send the, the correct documents. And then we also had a perinatal social work support group. So for both NICU, cardiac ICU, and I think our fetal person is also invited. So just like anywhere along being a baby. <laughs> fetal to neonatal. And then because in cardiac, lots of babies too were invited as well. Nothing too, too big beyond that, but I did just want to say hello. Welcome to another video. So glad you're here. Let's have a great rest of the week. I took a break from my reading to do my full-time job is what it feels like in the mornings, which is prepare so much food. It just now occurred to me that I have quite literally been preparing three meals in the morning because we've been using the slow cooker so much. So like I'll be making my breakfast, which lately I've been having toast with coconut oil and cinnamon. It's so good to me. I've been making smoothies. Today I use this like cherry berry frozen fruit blend, but I've just been doing frozen fruit, peanut butter, vanilla protein, spinach, and then almond milk. Milk. And it's like simple but filling enough because it has the protein and I love the peanut butter in there too. So that is breakfast. And then if I get lunch, sometimes whenever we have leftovers, I'll take leftovers for lunch. But this week, I don't know, this week this has been my habit. I made a peanut butter and honey sandwich and this is just full of strawberries. So I've been doing a fruit up until now. I've been doing cherries, but I figured I would switch it up today with some straws. I've been bringing two of these honey stinger waffles. I usually have like one for snack in the morning and one for afternoon snack. These waffles are just so delicious to me. They just taste so good. I've never tried anything beyond the honey flavored ones. Like I, I know they have vanilla. I think they have chocolate. I think they have like a caramel one, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe even like cookies and cream, which would probably be really good, but I just never ventured out from the one that I know that I love. And then I've been bringing little body armors, especially on days that I run just to have like, I don't know, electrolytes, be hydrated type of deal. And then usually, like I said, I've been preparing dinner in the mornings too, because we've been using our crock pot, which is great because honestly, I don't love running in the evenings. I would so much rather like run in the morning, just get it all done. And then whenever I come home, could like fix dinner, just relax, like have the evening be relaxed time. And even just with that, I feel like running in the morning wakes me up. I feel more energized, all of that. However, my my half marathon that is in about three and a half weeks. It is in the evening. It starts at 7 p.m. And so I've been doing my long runs on Saturday still in the morning because I don't want to run by myself in the dark. And like if I'm running 10 miles and I start at 7 p.m., then it's going to be dark by the time I finish. So I've been running my long runs in the morning and I just feel like that means that I have to run my runs during the week in the evening because I think it would be silly of me to train only in the morning and then run a half marathon that starts at 7 p.m. So I've been trying to run closer to 7 p.m., give or take a little bit, whenever I've been doing my in the week runs. So that being said, <laughs> the slow cooker has been really great because then we can prepare in the morning and then the food's just ready to go when you get home. However, today we did not do thawing the chicken well. Like we didn't pull it out last night to thaw. And so I just, it's not gonna be thawed enough to 
cook it tonight. So I think I'll just I'll just make the chicken. Like I'll just like alter the recipe to be regular cooked whenever we get home from work today. And hopefully the chicken will be thawed by then. It should be. It's just it's just not gonna happen this morning. Which does give me more time to now sit and eat my breakfast and read instead of eat my breakfast while I'm preparing dinner. It really like it's a full time job in the morning preparing three meals. But then it's also nice to just have those three meals prepared <laughs> in the day. We'll talk about work, I promise. But right now I'm so excited because we are going to see Wicked at the Fox Theater tonight with a little like traveling Broadway in Atlanta. I've never been to the Fox Theater here before. I've been to the one in St. Louis about four years ago to see Wicked back then. I love it. Like I feel like this is the one musical that I would like go out of my way to go see. I'm so, so excited. So I've never been to the Fox Theater here before. And then it's been so long since I've seen Wicked. So I'm just, I'm pumped if you can't tell. I have not decided what I'm wearing yet. So I'll show you the contenders. I know you can't help me anymore, but you can see the process this way. This is an option. It's long sleeves. It's a little maxi dress. It is even very witchy, very witchy. Like I feel like Elphaba might wear this at some point in the show. Downsides of this one is that it's like 95 degrees outside. It won't be that inside the theater, but being like maxi plus long sleeve might be pushing it for the middle of July. So with that in mind, this is also an option. They're all black, so you really can't see the difference all that well. This one is long sleeve, but not maxi. And it might be perfect as far as temperature goes. My one kind of complaint, or maybe not, it is midriff showing, which I really like. It's quite flattering. Can you even see that? It does show the midriff. And I don't know if that's the Fox Theater vibes. I don't know if I just need to be a little classier and then just have my little tummy out. But like, it's not full tummy, it's just top tummy. And like I said, it is quite flattering. It also gives self a love. And then my other option is this black one. It's just sharing a hanger with this one. I don't think this one's not really an option for tonight. And this black one, it's a satin one. It's supposed to be cowl neck. And it's one that I have never worn to anything before, which makes me kind of want to wear it tonight. But the downsides are that it's spaghetti strap. So I feel like I would want something for my shoulders, which I don't really have something for my shoulders for being in the theater so that I'm not cold. And then it also, it fits me kind of, I don't know. I feel like it's not made for my body type, but it still fits me fine. I just don't feel like it is as flattering as it would be on some other people, but also that's definitely something I can get over. And also I'm sitting in a theater, so I don't know yet. Work today though was not too, too busy. The new patients that I picked up today also discharged today. So I didn't end up with anyone new that I didn't have yesterday that stayed with me. For tomorrow two of my families are having surgery tomorrow like two that have already been inpatient so that'll be kind of big for them and so i'll just be a support tomorrow as that comes around and then we had a staff meeting to just talk about various things that was towards the end of the day one of the things that i didn't really know about that is interesting and was good to learn about is that in 2020 i forget what the name of the act was called but medicaid got expanded to where people wouldn't have to re-qualify basically it was like if you had medicaid you were just going to have medicaid because we were in that public health emergency you wouldn't have to renew requalify make sure that you still are eligible redetermination that's what it's called you wouldn't have to do that during covid but now that the public health like official state of emergency has been ended and this happened in like what april i think now georgia has discontinued that act because there's not the state of public health emergency officially anymore meaning that every single person who has medicaid in georgia is going to have to be redetermined of if they will keep their medicaid which is a big process and it is a lot of kids that are currently insured through medicaid who may possibly be losing their insurance through medicaid um so that was something that we talked about just in the like how the process is going so that if families have questions um making sure that families have like their addresses updated in the little database so that if they are getting notices or things like that they're actually receiving them it's not going to an old house um, because it has started to happen not on my family's like I haven't had someone encounter this yet but it has started to happen for other social workers where people will come to the hospital believing that they are insured and then not actually be insured anymore which is obviously a big deal whenever we don't have health care for all health care is quite expensive so 
it's going to take, I think they said 14 months before everyone gets redetermined of if they still are eligible or not. And like, I understand the process of why this is happening now, but also at the same time, it's kind of scary thinking about kids that are currently insured and currently able to get medical care who may soon be getting cut off from that and no longer get medical care. So that was something we talked about in the staff meeting. Other than that though, there really wasn't anything too, too big in my day. Just kind of walked around, supported some people, introduced myself to some families, wrote notes about all that I did, went to rounds. Maybe tomorrow will be bigger, I'm not sure. It just keeps happening where like my new families aren't staying. They're just like quick discharges. So it's like then my, my work just starts anew each day. I have some families that are, have been with me for a while, but it's like three instead of <laughs> any number greater than three. Zach's excited about this one too. Mostly they'll be on Instagram. That's what the actual deal is. This is like a special little, special little YouTube taste test. But it's the Manuka Honey Bees and Trees. It has dietary methyl glyoxal. Does that mean anything to you? Nothing at all. <laughs> it's found in high concentrations in the Manuka honey and correlates to the antibacterial properties. And so this <clears> honey <throat> is like tested to make sure that it has this the right amount of the stuff in it. That's cool. And I'm pretty sure I have a code for it. So I'll put it on the screen. Red one. Yeah, there's a lot of information about how much they like measure to make sure that it research and properties. It's been extensively researched to explore its properties and potential health benefits. Demonstrated properties include antibacterial, antiviral, anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, antifungal, and antiparasitic. It could be used as wound care. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. If, if you're ever in nature, you're supposed to put like honey on wounds to make it heal. That's awesome. So this is, these are, yeah, from New Zealand. Very cool. And it says that they bypass traditional food distribution companies. So theirs cost 30 to 50% less than the honey from large corporate sellers. So you get a better jar of honey at a much better cost. I love this packing. <clears throat> I've yeah. seen it more and more. I think it's... more environmentally friendly. This one's 550 methyl glyoxal. Summer harvest. I'll follow you over so you don't drink. No, I'll just bring it to you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Still drip. <laughs> it went down my bra. <laughs> <laughs> it does taste really good though. I got you the eye flutter. <laughs> why, why did you switch that? So I'm not dipping our spit in there. Well, now I want more. <laughs> you can dip our spit in there, it's just us eating it. I feel naked running without my running vest. And also I need to pee, but my goal is five miles today. So we'll see, <laughs> running rhymes. Okay, kind of got myself done up a little bit. This one was the top contender going into the night. And I think I really want to wear it because I haven't worn it anywhere yet. I got it last. February? Like February 2022 to wear it to a birthday party that I ended up not wearing it to. So I've never worn it. And I think it fits me a little better now than it has previously at different times in life. So I think that this is what I'm gonna go with and I'm really excited for it. But then the kind of debacle is the fact that it might be kind of chilly in the theater. And I don't really have like a good, like wouldn't it be so fun to have like a faux fur overcoat or something like to go to the Fox Theater, but I don't. So I maybe am doing, this is my, my thought. It just feels funny since it's literally the middle of July. Like this is definitely cozy, but also I feel like that makes it not really go with the dress, but I think I'm still gonna bring it.
Good morning. Welcome back to my cabinet. I feel like this is a good spot for you in the mornings. I did not vlog really yesterday because honestly, I just got like in this big old funk and I don't think it's fully gone. It definitely is not fully gone today, but I guess not for any particular reason. I'm sure it didn't help that like got less sleep than normal the night before from getting home from Wicked. So like woke up just feeling so, so tired and it's not like work was bad or anything. I just feel like I didn't have patience for anything. And then I get home and it was still 98 degrees at like 7.30 p.m. And so I was planning on doing a run, but I was like, I'm not gonna go run a tempo run for four miles when it's 98 degrees. Like I just felt like that was setting myself up for failure. So then I was like, okay, I'll go to the gym or something instead. And then the night just kind of like got away from me. And then it was like 7.30 and I was wearing workout clothes, but I just like didn't go to the gym. And so I was like, okay, like I'll just do some stuff here. So I like did like body weight squats and like used our 12 pound dumbbell and did like a little some something and for clarity like it is so fine that I did not run last night but I feel like because I had like my plan of what I was going to do and then like my plan didn't end up happening and so I didn't have like something else that I was going to do necessarily I just feel like the night got away from me and I didn't do anything like I didn't rest I didn't do anything productive I didn't have fun like I didn't get you know it just was kind of like well, where the night go? I feel like that's kind of what put me in the funk. I feel like the night was wasted, which is fine. It just like put me in a bad mood. Anyways, fast forward to now, getting ready for work, obviously. Today is Friday, which is exciting, and it is payday, which is also exciting. I don't think there's too much going on. Yesterday, I had like several new families. I had several new things to do. I feel like this probably paid into me not having patience too. I feel like I'm balancing a weird line now where I'm being assigned my own things to do, but not being like fully set free to do them. And I feel like an intern. I think that's what my issue is right now is that I feel as though I'm an intern. I keep it in like, I'm not an intern. So I, you know, like I'm capable of doing things. It's been a while since I've been an intern, but it's fine quite a few of my families had surgery yesterday so i'll be checking up on those families today we'll probably have some new ones next week so one of my co-workers is on vacation this week and they'll get back on thursday of next week and my other co-worker who's now here with me now leaves for vacation they'll be gone starting on wednesday which is a little overlap there where next wednesday I am all by myself. I have people that like, if something were to become overwhelming or if I needed to delegate things, I definitely could, but I would be the only like inpatient person doing my role there on Wednesday. So what I've decided is, you know, the little, when I got my badge, there's a little ribbon that hangs off of it that says care for star. And really what that means is you are new. And so I like tell other people that I'm new. I haven't felt the need to take it off yet. I feel like come that Wednesday, whenever I do the day where I'm just fully by myself, that's when my ribbon will come off. That's what I've decided. I'm gonna make breakfast. I don't know what I'm gonna make for breakfast because we're running out of a lot of things. I guess just with it being Friday and all. But I'll, I'll catch you again. We went to the grocery store for just a few items, you know, as you do. <laughs> Ended up with a little bit more than that. To be fair, these Skinny Pops were on a good sale, so. Got some skinny tops, got some like bread, some milk, just some things to tide us over until we do a full grocery shop on Sunday. Work today was good, per usual. I feel like I didn't have too, too much to do. Like it was enough. I think I'm too productive. I think that's what it is. I think I'm getting, I think I'm getting things done too fast. <laughs> and then I just sit and I wait for the next thing to come in. And then whenever it comes in, I do it immediately. And then I don't have anything to do again. But part of that's because it's like amping up with my caseload. Like my caseload's about half what other people's are right now. But it's Friday, which is exciting. I think I'm gonna spend this evening doing just like a deep clean to the extent that I'm going to deep. I don't know. I don't know how deep. I'm going to clean. We'll see about the deep part. Because that way, then it's just done. I don't have to do it over the weekend. And this past weekend, I didn't do as much as I probably usually would have. Like, I've been getting in the habit of washing sheets on the weekends, of vacuuming on the weekends, and things like that. And come Sunday, Zach and I both kind of decided, we're like, it looks kind of good in here. Like, I don't need to do all that. And then as the week came, I feel like it just, we weren't quite as set up as we had been, if that makes sense. And so today, I'm going to get ahead of things. That's the goal, at least. Tomorrow, I have my long run and it's 10 miles, which is longer than I've ever run ever in my life. Last week was only six because it was a bit of like a taper week instead of adding mileage every single week. For half marathon planning right now, this week is 10 miles, next week is 11 miles, and I'm gonna do like the half marathon dress rehearsal. The week after that is nine miles, and then the week after that is the half. Ah!
Instantly steamed. Oh, you smell that? I ran 10 miles this morning, which is so, so wild. And I didn't take any kind of video during the entire run because it was something that I just needed to do. Kind of like no distractions for myself. I left at 6 a.m. It took me just about exactly two hours. So my pace has slowed down from other long runs, but like, okay, my goal is to run 10 miles, not to run 10 miles fast at all. But that is just like, it's more than I've ever run ever straight before. And while it wasn't like easy, it also didn't, like it didn't hurt too bad. It didn't feel too, too hard. Like I feel confident that I've been training well and that I'll be able to like continue building distance and such. So it just, it just feels so, so good. I am gonna eat now because I am probably in a deficit for the day so far and make some coffee. And then I was supposed to have a laser hair appointment tonight like this afternoon and they canceled it yesterday which i think i've mentioned this before my the last time i went was in april i had one scheduled at the end of may and it got canceled day of i had one scheduled in june like rescheduled from that one the first time they could get me was june that one was canceled day of and then i just had this one that was supposed to be late july now and it was canceled day before and so i don't know what's happening with that <laughs> The good thing is that like I don't have a deadline for when I want to be done with sessions like I, I know it shouldn't be like this forever I don't think and some people take summers off on purpose because like you get more UV exposure However, I haven't been getting UV exposure because I've been thinking that I was going to be getting my laser appointments So now I'm scheduled for the end of August and we'll just cross our fingers with that I did ask when I was getting rescheduled and I was like, this is the third time it's happened like I haven't gone since April What's going on there? And they said that the location I go to only has like one clinic room and one provider. So if they call out, then there's no one to do it. But how has it been that I've been scheduled on the day that they call out like the past three months in a row? Minor annoyance, but not nothing too, too wild. So since that's canceled though, I don't have anything else specifically scheduled for the day. So I'm gonna eat and make coffee, like I said, and then run some errands today. I feel like we just have different like housing things that I've been shopping around for pretty much every weekend. But I'm going to run to a thrift store in Decatur to drop off some donations, just some more like kitchen stuff that we don't need. I'm gonna see what else there is to drop off. Probably browse around there a little bit, maybe not a whole lot. It's a nice, like, it's not a nice thrift store. It's a big thrift store that you can find stuff in. It's Last Chance. It's called Last Chance Thrift Store in Decatur, Georgia. You can find some good stuff in there, but it's kind of the ones where like, <laughs> you feel the need to wear gloves and like wash the clothes like three times before you wear them. But I have found a lot, a lot of stuff in there. Like whenever I was dressing business casual going to jail, most of my clothes were from Last Chance Thrift Store. And they also have like a furniture room and some housing items. So I think I'm just gonna kind of like walk around the furniture room, not because there's any furniture I'm looking to get from them, but just because I'm kind of curious what they have. And then I also want to go to Home Goods and Half Price Books just to browse, just to see what's around there. Last weekend when we went to World Market, there was a swivel chair that I really, really loved and found so comfortable, but it 100% does not fit my car. So I was looking because I think both Home Depot and U-Haul you can rent just like pickup trucks from just for like an hour or so, like an hour and a half. And so that could be perfect for picking it up, but then there weren't any pickup truck availability <laughs> this week in the area. So it's just, I haven't been able to get that chair, but I love that chair. I'll take you around for the errands though. I know this like was a work week vlog, but it only started on Wednesday. So come along on Saturday with me too. So like kind of funny story, whenever I went into Last Chance, I dropped out the donations so my trunk is empty of them. I was gonna show you them and then I honestly totally forgot. I go into Last Chance and I go to the art section because I think I mentioned that we're looking to just like different fun art, like nothing exquisite, nothing like fancy art, but I feel like thrift stores have like art that just people have painted and stuff like that. Some of it looks really good and I that's the kind of stuff that I want to love. So I found a just like a canvas painting that I really like. I'll put a picture of it so you can see it. I really liked this one. Zach wasn't the hugest fan. He said it felt too French <laughs> to him. And so then I found another one. It was this one that Zach really liked. And so I was down for it too, especially then because I found this one that I felt like those last two could go really well together. I wasn't the hugest fan of the frames, especially for the third one, just because it, that one would not go with our house at all. And the frame is so much bigger than the art is itself. And then the other one, I was like, eh, don't 
don't love the frame but maybe we'll keep it around like in case we were to use it but i was gonna get those two so i'm carrying them up to the front i'm like holding them i was texting zach I was like okay we're gonna get the last two whatever <laughs> go up to the front the ocean one that i was holding i thought said 24.99 turns out it said $249.99. So needless to say, I left that one at the thrift store. I promise you I did not go thrifting to buy 250 pieces, dollars pieces of artwork. Um, so I just got the third one and I do think I'm gonna pop it out of its frame because I don't really like its frame. But $249.99. And I really thought I was getting a $25 old painting. But now I'm headed into Home Goods and Half Price Books. everything up in one go which I want credit for because I think it was amazing and then I tried to take video like evidence that I carry everything up in one go so that you all could be very impressed with me but apparently though I could carry everything apparently I couldn't press record I thought I did couldn't press the record button so you can actually see but are you ready for a little a little haul so this is my current desk chair it really is Zach's old one it's very high up to be honest this is the lowest that it goes it could go higher up but it makes it, oh wow, yeah, I can go really high up. But it makes it a little bit tough and uncomfortable to actually sit at my desk. And so, <laughs> check this guy out. Look at me. He's so comfortable. And I think he goes higher up, but this is the lowest he goes, and it's like actually enough space to where I'm like actually at my desk. How high does he go? He goes this high up. He's from Home Goods. He was actually, he was kind of expensive. He was eighty dollars, seventy nine ninety nine. But I really like him, and I think that's cheaper than if I were to get him from somewhere else. So now my old one can sit at Zach's desk until he decides if he wants a new chair or not. I got pillar candles for these little lanterns that we got last week at World Market. Has a little door. This is the world market receipt. I got a big one for the big one. I'll take off the paper and stuff before we light it. But just so you can see the vibes. Little boy has a door too. Honestly, this candle's kind of big for little boy. Oops. This one. This one might actually be too big. I think I thought little boy was a little um littler. <laughs> I don't think I can light that. But maybe if I put this one. Over here, we can light it, and then once it gets short enough to actually be in here, then it can be in here. But I think this will be so fun once they're lit. They're our little lanterns. Now, this thing, I'm not super sure what he is, but he was $2, um, and he might be broken, actually. That'll be kind of a bummer. Well, maybe he'd be less broken if I didn't pull him up by the skinniest part. Okay, he is a little bit broken, but he also might melt to be back regular. <laughs> but it's just like an entire little wax candle guy. He definitely is broken. I'm gonna, I'll find him like a little dish or something he can go into and we'll try to still love him despite his brokenness. It's like the island of misfit toys, you know? He has four different clearance stickers on him. He was, they were not able to sell him, I guess until he was $2. I wanna see what he was originally. It says compare at 28, but that's not the home goods price. He started at $14.99 and I got him for $2. Last home goods item was this. It's a necklace holder and then also can hold like earrings and stuff down here. The only actual jewelry holder that I have right now is a travel one. So like it can hold everything, but it's not easy to get things in and out of it when it is holding it. So I thought this was pretty because it has Kind of like little leave detailing down here. It's just white and gold. And will make it so much easier to put my necklaces somewhere without just like laying them on the bathroom counter. 
I also stopped in Half Price Books. I got a crossword book, which I'm really wanting to just like cozy up with a movie and do crosswords today. So I think I will do that. The movie that I want to watch, well, unless I find something that I would like better right now, but I just remembered this movie and I haven't seen it in forever. But remember Princess Protection Program, the Disney Channel original movie? That's what I want to watch with Demi Lovato and Selena Gomez. Crosswords and Princess Protection Program. And then I also got Hidden Pictures by Jason Rekulok, which the exciting thing, I feel like you can tell, there's pictures inside. So it's like, I guess I can just read it to you. Mallory Quinn is fresh out of rehab when she takes a job babysitting Ted and Caroline Maxwell's five-year-old son, Teddy. Basically, Teddy's drawings start off like a normal child and then start getting like creepier and creepier. His stick figures evolve into increasingly sophisticated sketches depicting one disturbing scene after another. And so those are the pictures that are like in here. I forget whose vlog I was watching recently. I was watching someone's vlog recently when they were reading this and they said it was kind of spooky. Is Teddy troubled or is he channeling forces he cannot possibly understand? Knowing just how crazy it all sounds, Mallory must decipher the images and save Teddy before it's too late. So that's kind of exciting. And then the last thing I got is that, is that upside down? It is upside down. Is this painting. Overall today I spent like $200, but it would have been $450 if I'd gotten the other painting. So in the back, it's like this. So I'm gonna try to get the painting out of this frame because I don't want it in this frame. And I feel kind of bad tearing up the back like that, but also I'm just trying to remember, my, I'm just trying to remind myself I'm giving this painting a second life. It got donated from somewhere. Someone loved it. Someone painted it. Let's see if I can bust it out of here. Oh, there's like fully nails holding this painting in. I might need to do this off camera. I finally brought scissors up here so I could cut the price tag off of this little thinking man. We've had him for like three weeks now, but there we go. He is free. Look at this. I got the painting out of its frame, as you can see. My idea is to have this one like this and then maybe like to find another something for right here. I think this is such a beautiful painting. I wish I knew like its story, like who painted it, where it's of, anything like that. But I think this is awesome. I don't know, I just love it. I think it's awesome. I'm th like, that's a win for today. And that's the kind of stuff if you were to buy it, I don't know, I feel like getting it at a thrift store is just fun because that means like someone somewhere enjoyed it, had it in their home, now for whatever reason is no longer in their home and now it can live a little second life in mine, even out of its frame. <laughs> just finished editing and realized that I never filmed an outro clip to this video. So here is this outro clip. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little half week that we had going on. I feel like it was a really fun video and I've obviously got more fun videos coming and more regular videos coming, just more videos coming that I would love for you to be around for. So if you're still watching at this point and you're not subscribed, we are friends by now. So go ahead and subscribe before you go. Leave a little comment, leave a little like. I appreciate you so much and I'll see you next time.